Welcome to the color mixing video of class. We're going to start with Fresh Royal Icing and we're only using two gel colors for this class, red and fuchsia. I like to mix everything in one bowl so I can show you how to build on that base of color. Starting with the darkest color, which in this case is our red, we're going to add it to Fresh Royal Icing and add water as we go to achieve the desired level of consistency. When mixing royal icing, you always want to start with the thickest consistency and moving towards the thin consistency. For this class, we'll need two consistencies for each color, an outline or toothpaste consistency, and a flood or honey-like consistency. Please reference the Mastering Royal Icing Consistencies video tutorial, which is a supplementary video included in this class. That video will go over the consistencies that you will need and give you a visual for each consistency and how it should look and feel. You'll see that I use this small water bottle to dispense my water into my icing bowl, but if you feel like you need more control over the amount of water that you're adding each time, feel free to use a spray bottle with water, which will give you a little bit more control over how much water is going into the bowl. Once I get the flood consistency, I'm going to cover the bowl with a wet paper towel and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. This will allow time for those air bubbles to rise to the top. Once you see a good amount of air bubbles that have risen to the top, you can take your spatula and carefully smooth over the surface of that icing, popping those bubbles. Moving on to our next color, we're going to do a light pink next. To achieve the light pink, we don't need light pink gel color. We're simply going to use the leftover red icing that is remaining in our bowl. When I add in that fresh white royal icing into that bowl with the remaining contents of my red, you'll see that I did not remove enough of the red icing. Color really comes down to personal preference. I wanted to go for a really light pink here, so I should have removed more of that red because red is very pigmented, and in order to get a very light shade of pink, you're going to only need a small amount of that red. Now that I've removed a lot of that darker pink icing, I can add more fresh icing in and really achieve a light pink hue, which will look really nice compared to that deep red that we achieved in the first round. Now, I had quite a bit of this light pink left over, so I'm going to use this as the base of my next color, which will be that fuchsia color. And since I am working with a flood consistency, I need to bring this icing back up to an outline consistency. Because again, when we add color, we always want to go from thick to thin. So to do that, I simply add some powdered sugar, get it to that toothpaste consistency, and then add in my fuchsia color.
in the end, I really love these three colors and even that darker pink. So this darker pink happened sort of by accident, but I may end up using it. I may end up not using it. So feel free to go with what colors speak to you and make extra colors if those happen by accident because you never know when you will use them.